So adapting building to climate change is an issue that affects a lot of potential building owners and tenants and even managers of large portfolio of buildings. The world that we're living in now and the climate that we're experiencing today and that we will experience going forward is not the same as what a lot of our buildings have been designed to accommodate. Asset managers, asset owners of single of large portfolios of assets all need to be aware of the fact within different uh, climate futures there is a significant or in any case a very plausible risk that some of these buildings if they are not adapted to function and be viable in future climate risk may become stranded and therefore less attractive for the market in general. So it's a good idea to get started as early as possible uh, in uh, improving compliance, improving reporting because that will improve once again the ability to be viable and relevant in the market uh, later on. So there is a responsibility for the built environment in terms of understanding how buildings need to be retrofitted or redesigned for future climate conditions. What we're seeing in a lot of cities is an increased urban heat island effect. So this is where the design of cities, where you've got large um, intense density of building structures. This is often concrete, high levels of concrete design, and even in terms of glass facades, how they're reflecting heat um, and they're not really dissipating any of the excess heat. A key component of, of how to reduce and minimize the impact of that urban heat island effect is to design more nature and to design more green infrastructure into our buildings and into our city landscapes. A lot of the issues around adapting to climate change can't be solved by any one client or any one party alone. So Arab collaborates with a host of organizations including the World Business Council for Sustainable Development, um, the UK Net Zero Building Initiative, um, local authorities, uh, private developers and, and a whole host of them. Now what we've done is to bring our innovative thinking and our technical expertise in the delivery of these projects to ensure that sustainable strategies that are deployed as part of any project um, are forward thinking. We're currently working at the portfolio level with a global private investment group uh, developing a strategy and delivering on that strategy for their sites to make sure that they're able to meet their net zero ambitions. And we're now branching from decarbonization into climate adaptation services to help them further protect their assets for what may come in the future. We understand the impact of regulations and the fact that regulations will continue to change. Last year, uh, the EU taxonomy uh, uh, became in fact mandatory for a number of companies uh, around the world. There is now a requirement for property to prove that they are able to adapt to climate change now and in the future. An exciting resilience project we work on was uh, with Irish Lights in Ireland. They have a multitude of assets located in like the most challenging places you can think of. An important characteristic of the Irish Lights asset is that they need to provide a service constantly all the time so they can't have any downtime. And so even like a small interruption of service actually creates a big problem. And so to support them, we really had to understand what is the variation of all these climate conditions across the country, but also how different assets, say lighthouses or helipads, are affected by the different climate hazards. I think one of the key points we've learned at Arup in helping our clients is if you take it step by step uh, and break it down into manageable chunks, it's doable and we're very happy to be a part of that process and supporting many different clients along their journey from whether it be decarbonization, um, climate change adaptation and understanding what are the risks for their assets. We have the engineering expertise, the policy expertise and also the delivery expertise to help our clients uh, meet these challenges.